Monday morning. Um, why am I getting so nervous? It's 8 in the morning, it's Monday, and I just feel like it's the perfect time to start something. It's already been a week since I posted my first video on this channel. I got a lot of comments. Most of them were good. The majority of the people were really supportive and thank you. But there were also a lot of comments saying that my English is bad, my pronunciation is bad, my wording is bad. Like, everything was so bad. I just really don't get it. And the thing that I don't get is not about my English stuff and it's not about my pronunciation. We're just gonna talk about it later because I have to go right now. I'm gonna be late. I don't wanna be late. Sorry if it's hard to catch my vibe. I need a lover to trust, tell me you're on my side Are you down for the ride? It's not easy for someone to catch my eye But I've been waiting for you for my whole damn life For my whole lifetime Don't be afraid to tell me if you ain't with it I see your focus, yeah, you're so independent It's hard for me to open up, I'll admit it You got some shit to say, I made a listen So baby, tell me where you love life <laughs> Okay, so I brought this girl to my favorite coffee shop It's uh, whole milk, flat white what do you think of people shaming other people for their pronunciation and language skills? I despise that. I hate that. I feel like I was there myself a while ago, um, maybe like a few years back. If I heard someone, Russian speaking particularly, because I'm you know, a Russian speaker, say something in English and you could hear an accent, mm -hmm. like, you can, yeah, like you usually sure. can, I felt uncomfortable sort of cringy for them and for myself because I thought that any traces of Russian accent in English were like ugly. You gotta get rid of it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but that changed, first of all, when I realized that when I, when I hear an English speaker speak in Russian or, you know, whatever other language they can or try to speak, it's sort of charming and cute, you know, when you hear something slightly I think, off yeah, slightly different. It's like, it makes you unique. As long as you can understand what a person is trying to communicate to you, it does not matter at all. So, and even now, I feel like, I don't know if, if I'm talking to you, you can hear it that much. I have sort of like a switch in my head where sometimes I can speak English with like zero accent at all and people get a feeling that I'm somewhere from like California or New York but sometimes I have the switch that goes off and I have this strong Russian accent you know <laughs> turning yeah. on out of nowhere so this is fun. your fifth year or sixth year living in, where in, in New, New York like fifth, fifth year uh, it's my seventh year living abroad in an okay country. I used to live in England for two years where I never picked up a British accent you know I don't know why okay uh, but yeah, so today I try to communicate it to as much people, as many people as I can to explain that, you know, accents are, are nice, it's cute, it's fun, and... Uh, Do you think that you kind of need to wait until your English is perfect to, to film something? Yeah, to channel. Yeah, to start a YouTube channel, to apply for a job, or yeah. to do something, like anything. Not like. Well. You don't have to wait or... Well, first of all, there's no such a thing as perfect, you know? Okay, let's not say perfect, let's say... Okay, if, like, if you think that there's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, how, do you, how do you define it? Uh, by comments that I get on YouTube. Well, that's just silly, but... Yeah, I know. You are never gonna get perfect if you're not gonna start using it. Yeah. In daily life, I mean, I'm... I'm sort of comfortable with both English and Russian at this point, almost equally, depending on the subject we're talking about. Because sometimes, you know, if I speak about coding, which is what I do, 
I would not be able to talk to you in Russian about it. It's just, you know, because my brain is so involved in it in English. But there are also like, some subjects that I'm more comfortable talking in Russian. Okay. So for me, there is no such a thing as perfect anymore. One. One. Two, I am sort of learning French. Mm -hmm. And I did have that, you know, um, that feeling not letting me speak it as freely at first. Mm -hmm. But then I realized the thing that, you know, no matter the accent, no matter the level, no matter how comfortable you feel about it, it's about trying it, it's about using it, and it's about improving it. Okay, it's so nice. let's pretend that you just started learning a, like, a okay. brand new language, yeah. like Chinese. Okay. Should you put yourself out to try to speak this? Like, let's pretend you just know like a hundred words. Yeah. Like one tense. If you do want to eventually speak Chinese, definitely. Like every single Chinese speaking person you meet, you, you have like you have to go out. There like and try. even if you know just like ten words. Yeah, because you come, you approach a person, you're like, I don't know, ni hao, right? It's like hi, hi in Chinese. You start with that. Maybe you know a few more because that's the only word I know. <laughs> more words you sort of show the interest and then every time you're gonna talk to a person you're gonna learn at least one or maybe a few new words that's how you learn it thank you you're welcome. do you have anything else to say well first of all you shouldn't care about what other other people think and they are insecure themselves and that's something you should you know sort of tell them about and uh, break the cycle mm -hmm. but second I actually when I do come back home sometimes you know in some conversations it just so happens that I have like a Russian speaking friend whose mm -hmm. English is like definitely you know not as good as mine is and something comes up and uh, I actually had a few cases where I was like I start speaking English with them or they say something funny just a second that's New York <laughs> where is that <laughs> Okay, so that they say something like small in English and I start the conversation I start, you know, saying a few sentences in English and I see how at first they're like ashamed and so, Sort of they come back because they're shell, not in like, the same level. Oh, yeah, I'm not as good. I, 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 yeah I can't like respond to what you said even though I know in my brain maybe how to actually yeah. say and put those words together But I sort of actually start the subject exactly about this and I say that, you know, it's not, if I am better than you in English, it does not matter that you should have... It helps actually, it helps exactly. other so person to, yeah. I a few conversations like this yeah. where I sort of, you know, like shake the person up and be like, yo, I know it feels super weird if you and I both speak Russian much better than, you know, collectively you speak English, but if we do start, you know, just throwing a few sentences at, at each other, that's cool. It's like... It just just get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, and also the thing is that when person in front of you knows better, yeah, you it kind of helps you to yeah, but it helps like it yeah. It may feel very like much more. It feels crazy. weird. It, it feels, feels very, weird. Very, yes. It's actually very uh, helpful, helpful. I think yeah. Helpful. You learn a lot. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'll just. <laughs> put the links in the description yeah, box though, sorry. <laughs>
upload every single Wednesday, so don't forget to subscribe. And let's go back to our topic about pronunciation. Just don't let other people decide whether you can speak or not speak. Is your accent good or bad? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Of course, it matters if you can speak like a native speaker or not, but it doesn't really matter that much. If you can communicate, if you are understood, and if you can understand, that what matters. And just keep practicing, just start practicing. You can't improve something unless you start practicing it. It's just how it works. I don't want to this video last forever, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope you liked it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, I forgot to ask you, what would you think if I will upload for a week every single day, like a daily vlog? Would you like the idea or not? Is it too much like to uploading every single day? Maybe for like five minutes or seven minutes videos. Just yeah, let me know in the comments. Bye.